<laughs> oh my god, this is a really lucky find. Uh, over 800,000 in total, all in the collectors. And uh, we can easily three star this base with this composition. All we have to do is spread our giants around here up top, send out barbarians behind them, archers behind them, and also open up those two layers right there. While the defenses are distracted, send in our hog riders. We can spread them around. These defenses aren't too strong. So we can definitely spread our hog riders around and uh, don't have to use a heal spell just yet just yet okay now we're gonna use a heal spell right here uh, where those hog riders are getting targeted by the teslas and uh, all our troops are pathing towards the core so they're all gonna be revived by that heal spell so this is awesome actually because uh, now since we've uh, successfully brought all our troops inside this core it's just gonna be very easy to three star uh, everything whatever that's left and as you can see we still have our hog riders still going because some of our troops had uh, shielded for those hog riders so it was just way too easy to completely demolish this whole base uh, we still have like more than half our troops left <laughs> So we're just going to end it here. We're at 88%. We don't need trophies. I'm trying to stay low at around uh, 1,000 trophies. So we don't, need, we, we don't need the third star. So we're just going to end it there with uh, all, all of the resource. So over 830,000 in total resource. Awesome. Okay, here we have this Town Hall 9 base that's offering a lot of resource. Uh, but it, it is spread around the collectors and uh, mostly inside the storages so we're gonna have to break inside so let's see here hmm um what we'll do is we're gonna have to find out a path that leads our hog riders and giants towards the core and that's basically this way from that air sweeper to the mortar and then they can go to the core so we're gonna place a heal spell right around here in this area as uh, as you can see all of those defenses are clumped together uh, so let's go for it we're gonna we're gonna first start by removing that laboratory over here. Remove that clan castle. Remove some unguarded structures out of the way, uh, just to create that space. And uh, here, let's remove that. Let's remove that. And let's see, can we avoid the cannon? Yes, we can. And here, can we avoid that cannon? I'm pretty sure we can. No, we can't. Okay, we'll just remove that town hall. And right after our archers remove those two structures over here, we're gonna then spread our giants. Now, I'm afraid that uh, there are spring traps around these empty areas or po possibly giant bombs even. Uh, but let's, uh, let's hope there aren't. There's a Tesla there, so that's perfect. Not much of a threat. And we're also gonna send in our queen here. Let's open up that wall right here with the raid spell assisted with the wall breakers. And we're gonna place that that uh, heal spell right after we send out our hog riders. Uh, here I decided to send out hog riders right here uh, because it's better to send them out after your after you already know the direction your giants are traveling and uh, your other troops are traveling. So it was much better in this case to wait and uh, send in our hog riders after we've uh, we found out that our troops were headed this way. So here all those hog riders have completely destroyed all of the core defenses. So that's awesome. And uh, here let's see, let's see that um, archer tower is distracted. So we're going to send in one pair of wall breaker straight to uh, that junction over here. Uh, there's a mortar over there, not really a problem. So we're just going to wait it out here. We have low connection, hopefully that wears off. Okay, great, we have this Town Hall 9 base with lots of resource. So let's see, which is the easiest direction to attack from? Uh, well, we have the, those air sweepers right there. And the, what those air sweepers are going to do is they're going to pull our giants and hog riders towards the core. 
So all we have to do is bring our Giants towards that air defense and right after that air defense they can make their way towards the core. So this is the best direction to attack from. We're going to have to remove these structures out of the way, uh, these structures out of the way and then all our Giants can then funnel straight inside the core, place Hog Riders behind them, place a heal spell, let's see. Yeah, we might have to place a heal spell right here because of that empty space right there uh, in between the air defense and the wizard tower. There could be a giant bomb in between there. Uh, hopefully there's a Tesla and not a giant bomb. So what we're going to do is first start by removing these structures right here on the outside to create that space. Remove that barrack with our archers. Okay, and let's see, we're just going to wait for that, uh, that factory to be destroyed and then we're gonna spread our giants around okay great spread our barbarians around spread our archers around and open up the first layer uh, be sure to deploy your wall breakers away from the direction of the wizard tower we're gonna send out <laughs> uh, I was planning on sending out one uh, wall breaker to test for that but that's fine and we're gonna place, we don't need a heal spell because there aren't really clumped defenses. So instead we're gonna use a raid spell and uh, open up the walls to lead my troops straight towards the core. And the reason I didn't use a heal spell here was because there really wasn't any more clumped up defenses. So when there aren't any clumped up, when there aren't any clumped up defenses, uh, it's, not, it's not ideal to use a heal spell. So in, that's why instead I used a raid spell. And because he has level seven, uh, mortars, level 7 mortars are going to take out your level 6 archers in one shot so uh, I decided not to use heal spell there. So instead we got around 390,000 gold in, in total resource so that's, that's pretty nice. Okay nice, lots of resources in this Town Hall 9 base. Uh, so let's see, the easiest path towards that uh, the core here. Well, most of the storages are up top. As you can see at the bottom, there aren't really that many storages. There are two storages, two gold storage storages up top. So we're gonna have to attack from the top. That way we can easily get all of the storages and we can ignore the sub. So let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these structures right here on this side, create some space. We're, we just need to remove one of those uh, barracks. So we're just gonna remove that barrack over here. And here we're gonna remove, let's see, now we're gonna have to use some barbarians and archers to remove that drill. And right after we, remo we remove it, uh, we should be able to, and now we have some space. So now spread our giants around, open up that layer, open up that layer, send in the rest of our troops, barbarians, archers, and wall breakers over here. And while the defenses, while the heroes are distracted, send out your hog riders because heroes are a big threat to hog riders. And uh, hog riders have separated, so we're instead of using heal spell, we're gonna use a raid spell right here because the hog riders had separated. So if they're separating, it's not really ideal to use a heal spell. So again, here in this raid, it's much better to use a raid spell because we have all of those clumped troops. Uh, grouped together at the core area so it was just much better to use a raid spell and we should be able to get both of the storage the gold storage and the elixir storage as uh, as our troops make their way now, there are some mortars over there so we're gonna lose our archers and uh, but hopefully our archer queen goes for uh, yep she's gonna go for the gold storage and we can just head out pop her ability and head out with over 460,000 in total resource nice so yeah guys, this was another great day of farming for me. In this uh, one hour session that I just did, I made around three and a half million in total resource in just around an hour. And the reason I'm able to do, do this with this composition is because this composition takes very little time to train for a full army and because it's very versatile. I can, I can attack both dead bases, storage bases. I can attack for collectors on the outside around the base. I can attack inside for the storages. So because of the versatility of this attack method, I'm able to attack almost any base and make a lot of resource. Okay, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next episode. Later.